All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this um, Red Mark X in Flames. Wow, that's a weird name. Um, this is the Shock Infantry, the Killing Field. And uh, this is uh, uh, the box. And uh, on the back, it shows all the people that worked on this. All right, and here we have the figure outside the packaging. And uh, first thing you'll notice that this is a sideshow base because this figure does not come with the base, which is kind of disappointing. And uh, uh, let's see, when you get this guy out of packaging, uh, first you have these tubings you need to attach on yourself. One right here, and the other one is from his chest to this pouch right there. And uh, these are bendy tubes, so you could uh, manipulate it to uh, however you want. And then uh, it comes with quite a few pouches. Uh, here are two. And then there's this knife. Here it is outside of the sheath. And um, he also comes with, uh, well, it comes with this rifle right here. And he also comes with this uh, revolver. Uh, pouch. And then the, a few more pouches. And uh, this pouch right here contains uh, three canisters uh, that connects to his uh, chest right there. And here's what it looks like. Kind of neat. So here's the front of the figure. And uh, he is uh, very layered up. Nice for a uh, unlicensed figure. This is a very impressive one. Here's a side view of him. And there's the back view. Okay, he has elbow pads and knee pads as well too. So let's take a look at uh, take a closer look at the head sculpt. And here's a good look at the helmet itself. Nicely done. I basically yanked it out of his head. And uh, here you can see the neck. And there's the head again. There's a closer look at the wrist. Helmet, the back side. So basically, this panel you could just uh, open up, and then uh, there's a switch back here. And this thing is magnetized right there. You see, there's a screw right there, and then there's the on off switch. Turn on the lights. Well, once you turn on the light here, you can see it's glowing red. Just the eyes, and nothing else. It would be nice if uh, these two pieces will light up and even the chest here will light up. That would have been nice, but uh, the eyes are mainly it's the main thing that you want to light up and uh, they did a really good job with it. Let's take a closer look at the detailing on this armor. Uh, let's take a look at the back side. side. There's the bag. Detailing on this figure is uh, really good. And here's the revolver that it comes with. And uh, uh, here you can see shoes are pretty plain there are a lot of velcros some on the on the on the, uh, on the shin guard and then uh, some on his arm bicep and on the side as well so that's kind of neat and uh, this uh, everything's removable uh, basically you could remove this whole um, contraption on this chest there and then uh, it's basically just uh, 
and then this uh, vest here, the black vest, it's removable with velcro and then underneath uh, there's that grey jacket and then, I mean the, the tan jacket and then underneath there's a grey jacket so overall he is uh, very layered up and I, I do like this a lot especially the fur all over him, that's really neat and here we have instructions on uh, how to remove the back panel and install batteries It says uh, put, uh, you can use either AG3, AG3 or LR41 batteries, two of them. And then here's uh, how you attach those tubing. And you can also attach that right onto his uh, helmet. Or to the back of his helmet, that's kind of neat. There are some options for you because uh, you can remove some of the layering on him and uh, uh, for him to uh, do the tubing onto his mask or on the back of his head, stuff like that. So there's uh, a good, uh, some varieties for you with this figure. And I think this is a very, very uh, sweet looking uh, uh, kill zone figure. And uh, but, uh, he stands about almost 12 inches, about 11.75 inches in height almost 12 inches and um, yeah quite nice highly recommend this guy uh, is it's not cheap this thing it's uh, um, I paid uh, 178 for this guy and um, you could get him on a few online retailers and I do recommend this figure but again it's not cheap uh, for a non-licensed product, uh, but uh, I, I do recommend this guy because detailing on him is really good. Um, see the tubings and then the, the straps and everything. Uh, how layered up he is. Uh, I do like this design a lot. I've never played a game, but I do like this design quite a bit. Uh, the only other um, Killzone figure I have is the DC Direct those seven inch figure uh, I have one of those uh, yeah uh, yeah I highly recommend this figure